Let's talk about the homologous series of alcohols. Now, if we start with methanol, which is a one carbon long chain with an OH at the end, the homologous series represents all of the molecules you get by adding an extra carbon to that chain. If you have CH3CH2OH, that's a two carbon chain with an OH at the end, you get ethanol. And then if you add another carbon to that, you get propanol. By the time you get to three carbons, it's a little ambiguous where you're putting the OH. A homologous series is supposed to have the same functional groups in the same place. And these are both at the ends of the molecule. So I'm gonna call this propan one all and say that the OH is always at the end of the molecule, primary alcohol, if you prefer to call it that. Then you'll have butan one all, one, two, three, four carbons with an OH at the end, pentan one all, where you have one, two, three, four, five carbons with an OH at the end. You can tell the carbon chains are just getting longer and longer and longer. By the time you get to pentan one all, what is it? C5H11OH, something like that more carbons, a couple more hydrogens, and an OH at the end. Now the trends here are that molar mass is going up. Molecular mass is going up. You might think that that means the melting and boiling points increase across the whole homologous series, but melting point, boiling point, the kinds of things that depend on intermolecular forces are actually like the stickiness of the molecules, the strength of the intermolecular forces is decreasing as you go across the first couple of these. The reason is that the hydrogen bonding that helps these molecules stick together is very strong for methanol because there's not much other molecule to get in the way of the OH attracting another OH. The more, the more molecule you add in, the more interference there are in the hydrogen bonds. And so the stickiness of the molecules with each other decreases. In fact, the boiling point and melting point of methanol is higher than of propanol. But then eventually the, the large molecular mass takes over. The London dispersion forces become more important than the hydrogen bonding. And so then the intermolecular forces themselves are increasing. So the melting point of methanol, which I think is like minus 80 Celsius or something like that, the melting point goes down as the molecule gets bigger until about propanol. And then the melting points start rising again. So there's, there's two competing things at play when you're talking about the intermolecular forces and the uh, whatever you call melting point, boiling point, and the stuff that's controlled by them. The homologous series is a series of molecules where you're adding carbons to the end of the chain. Alcohols mean that the end of the chain is OH, and you'll just have to watch out when you're asked about intermolecular forces. Hydrogen bonding is strong for methanol, and decreases in importance as the molecule gets bigger. But London dispersion forces start becoming very important as the molecule does get bigger. Thanks for being with me. Best of luck.